prophetic words, what are they? Well, if it's a word that comes from God that talks about something that might happen, if you are in agreement with what happens and then it happens, you've cooperated in it or you were looking for it. That might be because the realms of heaven are, in a sense, different from our time frame. And actually, you could give a prophetic word if it's like a gift of the spirit prophecy. It comes from the spirit who's who who knows the heart of the father and that declaring something that might take place can take place because we agree together with God for its taking place because there's power in agreement. So God, sometimes a prophetic word is for us to agree with it so it can come to, come to pass. Sometimes, I mean, and uh, most of what I would have heard as prophetic words from most of the so-called prophets of today, I don't think any of them come to pass or very few come to pass. And some of the things are so general that you could read into anything to see them mm -hmm. come to pass. I mean, I saw yeah, a... True. I saw a video, a YouTube video the other day, which viewed five or six so-called prophets who prophesied in 2022 what was going to happen in 2023. So they played the clip of the guy who said this, this and this. Then they looked at 2023 to say, was there any evidence that that took place? Some of the words are so general that you're going to hit something if you scatter gun approach on anything. <laughs> but majority of them, you would say, no, there's no, they did not take place the way they were said they were going to take place at all. And therefore the guy was not prophesying. He might've been declaring what he wanted to happen, or he might've been declaring what he thought God wanted to happen, but basically it didn't happen. Now, generally when people make those prophetic declarations they are general and not very specific so it's hard to pin them down mm -hmm. uh, you know some some like words are oh, 2024 is going to be a, a word where things will accelerate well what does that mean and for someone who heard that something might seem to accelerate because now you've thought about it you can see it in a different light and therefore it might feel like it's going to take place more quickly. But would it have taken place any more quickly if you'd heard it or not heard it? Probably not. So it's all relative from your perception of things. And I think a lot of people who are prophesying stuff, I don't believe they're prophetic words at all. And I don't believe there's any evidence that they got fulfilled. And you get some very specific prophetic words, which definitely don't come about i mean like some of your american prophetic words about elections yes i agreed <laughs> you know, have not come about at all not you know all. there's going to be this happened that happened it didn't happen <laughs> but those people who said it was going to happen very rarely do they ever come back and say i'm oh, sorry i got it wrong agreed because they don't want to ruin their reputation but people know they get it wrong so, so in, in one sense, they'd probably get a better reputation if they came out and said, oh, yeah, I must have misheard or I didn't hear it right. You know, but generally a lot of what people say, I mean, let's say, you know, if you had a very specific thing, well, there's going to be an earthquake take place, you know, in six hours time in this country and it happens, then that's a pretty accurate yeah. word. That actually, you could say there is a genuine fulfillment. If I sort of said, oh, there's going to be an earthquake that happens. Yeah, there's an earthquake that happened every year. You know, mm -hmm. so yes, someone could say, yeah, that was fulfilled. But was it really a fulfillment of a prophetic word? Or were they just sort of choosing something that they know is always going to happen? And therefore it does. Now, I think there have been some very clear words that someone did say that did come to pass mm -hmm. why were they said and because they were said by the person did that bring it about or was it that it was a sign 
that God was going to use for a particular reason that God chose. Maybe to validate something or maybe to affirm something that someone then would trust what God mm -hmm. was saying because that was the case. You know, and sometimes saying something is going to happen is the reason it happens. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.